welcome back to a new day so i didn't end up finishing the charcuterie boards yesterday um so i just did them um just a little bit ago um amazing amazing right so i am just going to kind of take you guys through what i do to make a fall charcuterie board um and i'll kind of show you like some of the ingredients and stuff that I got and like where I got them from and things like that if you guys want to kind of make your own so check it out let me know what you think about it um and tell me what are some of your favorite fall boards I would love to know leave them in the comments below tag me on Instagram if you do make your own or if you want to replicate this one also I had so much fun doing it um so I'm just gonna saran wrap them all so they can be easy to travel with and then yeah i'm gonna probably fill it up a little bit more and kind of like make it a little bit fuller more lush and things like that so i hope you guys enjoy it's like one of my most favorite like snacks or i guess like little grazing things that i like to make for people um it's quick it's easy it literally doesn't take much effort at all um, I don't always have a plan, but I knew I wanted to do something really like fall specific. Um, so you'll see that there's lots of like figs in there, lots of fall colors. So I'm so excited about this one. But yeah, so enjoy. I will see you guys probably later um, after we come back from our events. Bye. all packed up and ready to go and now you can literally like take your charcuterie boards like anywhere with you i've learned that doing them here at home um and then wrapping them has saved me 
so much time and it's just been a lot easier instead of like having people hover over me while I'm doing them. So this has been like a lifesaver. Thank you for helping. Okay. 
I'm gonna get you so bad. Uh, yeah. Today is November 1st. Sure is. Huh? And it is 20 degrees outside. And today I'm hunting rabbits with Elmer Foot. <laughs> <laughs> the same thing different language Oh, <laughs> 